Hello everyone, it's Wendy Bean. Today with you, I am sharing my April 2020 setup. For this month, I've been inspired by floral folk art, which combines leaves and flowers as well as animals. Something I'm excited to try out for this month. The supplies I'll be using are my Tombow dual brush pens, Crayola super tips as well as their brush markers, Wondering Wee's fine tip markers, and Micron pens, followed by white markers, RT's acrylic paint marker, and my Posca pen. Let's get started! Below you see all the markers I'll be using to create the cover page you saw from before. Here's the overview of the pencil sketch that I made. I will begin by outlining the rabbit using one of my Micron pens. I chose the rabbit as the animal on the cover because it is April and I thought it was a fitting choice due to the month. Here I used the same Micron pen to outline the details outside of the rabbit, but when it came to the small details within the rabbit, I switched to a smaller tip Micron pen. For the leaves, I chose very different greens, some light ones and dark ones for my color choices. For this one below, I use a light green and this same leaf repeats in the top right corner, so I decide to color it the same color. And also add some details above the leaves to give it some dimension. For the flowers, I chose vibrant colors such as orange, pink, and red. As I let her April here, I am using a Uniball Signo gold pen. I decided to letter it now because my background is going to be a dark color so it would be hard to see the pencil markings. For my background, I went with a dark color plum because I really wanted it to contrast against my bright colors of the leaves and the flowers. And enjoy the rest of this time lapse. Next is my monthly calendar. This is a new layout that I am trying. I have moved things to the right side. The majority of boxes are on that side. And the left side, I finally have room so I can have a matching design on there like I did on my monthly cover. So there will be flowers and leaves on the left side. To outline my calendar boxes, I'll be using Micron pens. And here are the greens I'll be using for my leaves. I outline the April with a micron pen followed by my Tom Pudinovsky. For the weekdays, I write in cursive using my micron pen. Next, you will see the time lapse of the flowers and leaves that I do. Enjoy. For the dates on the calendar, I will be using these clear stamps that I got from Michaels. I was going to originally write in them by hand, but having these makes it so much more easier, so I'm happy that I have them. To make my leaves stand out, I decided to outline them in black because I wanted it to match the boxes that I will outline next with my Micron pens. Once I'm finished outlining, I use my Tumble brush pen to add some drop shadows. Here's my mood tracker. I'm so excited for this one. I've created 30 different drawings of animals, flowers, leaves, insects that I will color in to represent my mood. I will be using clear stamps to show those four emotions that I will be tracking. I arrange them all and make them fit miraculously, get them glued down, and here I am numbering them. Here are my habits that I will be tracking for this month. There are a total of seven. And below, underneath the paper, I have penciled in the leaves I will be drawing in. I am using a micron pen to write out habits in cursive, then go in with my Tombow Fidonoska to add more thickness to the letters. Here I am outlining some of the leaves with my micron pen. I decided to also add the white Posca pen to outline these leaves because typically I like to make my habits a new trucker match. So by having this white color, it matches the white outline around the drawings I made on the left side. 
I also chose to color some of these leaves with the same four colors that I will use to track my moods, which is the pink, the light purple, orange, and the red. This is my gratitude page. This is something I always include in my monthly setup because looking back at it, you get to see the things that made you happy and you were thankful for, for that month. Here I'm using my Micron pen to trace gratitude. Then I will use my Tomba Furinoski pen to add the thicker lines. And I know I can use this already just by itself to do this, but I have more control with my Micron pen. I use my Tombow dual brush pen to add lines for all the things that I'll be grateful for this month. Afterwards, I add a drop shadow to gratitude. Here I am using my Artsia acrylic paint marker, followed by the, my different size micron pens for the leaves. I continue to use the same leaf designs and similar colors as I have on previous pages, just so everything matches. We have finally made it to the part in which I add a new page to my setup. This month, I've included an April bingo. I came across this on Instagram, and I think this is perfect to include in your month because we are in quarantine, and this way you have a set of activities you can do throughout the month. For my bingo, I included things that I wanted to get better at, or something that I wanted to try out for the first time. For my bingo, I chose to make it a four by four. I didn't fill in all the boxes. It's all up to you. I chose activities that I wanted to try throughout this month. It could be practicing your lettering, drawing in a new art style, or watching a new film that you haven't. Just fill it with things that you yourself would like to do. Now here I am outlining my lettering for April with my Tombow Filinoska pen as I have throughout this setup. Next I will use my Micron pen to outline my bingo box and move on to the leaves that I have around the bingo box. I continue to use the same colors that are the theme for this month and just fill it all in as much as I can. Here I am making the grid for my bingo boxes, then going to lettering the, my activities for this month. And I tried different little layouts, changed the font a little bit, used curses just to make it a little bit different. Next, I add a shadow to April and Bingo and fill in my empty boxes as well as adding animals and flowers and a mushroom within these boxes just to go with my theme for this month. Lastly, we made it to the final flip through to show everything that we've done for this month's setup. There is the lovely cover page that we made in the beginning. Next will be my calendar that we made. I also have gone back and added white leaves with one of the white markers so we can match the setup that we made for my moods and my habits. Below you see the four colors that I will be using. Here they are. I went with vibrant colors just so the moods would be really nice against that white background. Then I have made my gratitude page, as you see. And you see on the right, I don't have the bingo yet because I hadn't added it when I recorded this. But here it is, the final overview of my April bingo. There's the setup for this month of April. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and that you check out my Instagram to see all that I do on there.